This is a video showing the IDL 800 Digital Lab. This is used for you to make a connection, okay, to place your components and also serves as a power supply for your circuit. So you have here, this is the power button. Here is your function generator, which is used to generate sinusoidal waves. You have this as your voltmeter. And here is your protobot or breadboard that is used for you to place your components. You have a DC power supply here of 5 volt, a variable power supply of 0 to plus 15 volt, a negative 5 volt, and another source, a var another variable source from 0 to minus 15 volt. And you have your ground here, which serves as the negative terminal for your source. When placing components onto the breadboard, you need to note how the connection is on, uh, on the rows of the breadboard. So, each row here, okay, you have five ports here that you can use to connect and all these are actually connected to one another. So therefore, you shouldn't do something like this where you are placing your resistor on the same row. This is because if you do this and since this whole row here is connected, therefore, you are actually short circuiting your resistor and this is actually not allowed if you want to connect a component here at least do this on different rows okay because here one of the legs is on this row and the other leg is actually at the row below it then this and this are not connected or what you can do is that use this groove here okay, as your separator and connect the resistor legs across the groove or another way is actually to jump rows in this manner so this, this and this are connections that are allowed and here is a connection that you should not perform now, for example, if you were to try and construct this circuit where you have a source here and two resistors in series, so what you can do using the IDL is actually connect your source, okay? So this will be the positive terminal of your source. So let's say that we are using a 5 volt here as your voltage source. And then, from the source just now, the positive terminal is connected to your first resistor. So what we do is that we use a wire and connect from the 5 volt source to one leg of your resistor. And on the same row, we connect, we place our resistor here because we want to connect your source to your resistor and then the other leg of your resistor is connected to the first leg of your second resistor so these two has to be on the same row or if you put it on different rows then it will not be connected then the other leg of your second resistor will have to go to the negative part of your voltage source. In this case, the negative part of your voltage source is your ground here. And so, you have another wire connected on the same row as the other leg of your second resistor. And this goes to the ground of your IDL. And there, you have your circuit fully connected. Now let's say if I want to measure the voltage that is flowing across my first that is flowing across my first resistor. So what I can do is that I use the voltmeter that is provided 
in the IDL. And if you can see here, there's the plus and minus sign indicated here. So connect it according to the polarity that you want to measure. So in this case, the first, the positive one goes to the the first leg of my resistor, and then the the negative terminal is connected to my the other end of my resistor. Remember, voltage must be measured in parallel while current is measured in series. So, if you can look, if you see at your voltmeter here, you have various settings okay, that you can use to measure. These are the maximum voltage that your voltmeter can measure. Which one should you choose? The rule of thumb is that if you are not sure what is the value of your voltage, always start from the larger scale. Never ever start from the lower scale if you don't know. So therefore, start from the larger scale first so you know that your voltage can handle a maximum of 200 volt. But in this case, I know that my voltage source just was only 5 volt. So therefore, I know while well, when doing a series circuit, I will not get more than 5 volt. So in this case, I can safely set it to a maximum of 20 volt. I can't set it at 2 because I don't know whether my voltage may be uh, whether it is more than 2 or not. So here I will start it straight away at 20 volt. So once I have connected my voltmeter, I can safely turn on my power and see that actually now the voltage across my first resistor is 3.33 which validates what we assumed just now of the voltage not being more than 5. To measure the voltage across the other resistor, first you have to switch off your power and then these two wires that are connected to your voltmeter, move it to the other leg of your resistor. So this is the negative terminal and here is your positive terminal. Therefore, you are measuring the voltage across this resistor now because both of these wires are connected on both the legs. And when I turn on my power, I see that I get 1.71. And using voltage divider, when you, when you add up both voltages now, the value is almost 5, which validates that we are using a 5 volt source.